It's really, really tough to truly achieve excellence all by yourself. You can be graceful and compassionate and giving to your competitors, knowing full well that your only plan is to win. I'm Thad Wong, this is Move It Forward. So one thing that I didn't do great before and I do much better now is ask a lot of other people's opinions when I want them. This time I was working on a project and I thought it was excellent. I thought this is done. And I brought it home and I showed it to my wife and she started laughing. And that was tough. I was like, uh, when we think you did something perfect and your wife starts laughing at you, that's not an esteemable moment. And I listened and I intently disagreed. And then later on when I was by myself, I agreed. And I thought she made a very, very good point. We changed everything, we accommodated that point, and then it was excellent. So my idea of excellent wasn't excellent until I involved another person. Because in all reality, everyone gets to decide what's excellent. And what is excellent requires the majority opinion. Who's first place, that takes the majority opinion, not the minority. I might think I was the fastest, but unless I got the ribbon, I was not. Everybody's heard the phrase, done is better than perfect. But I will argue that if you're an artist, are you happy when your work is done or do you work until it's perfect? And if you look at perfect art and what perfect art sells for, for what art sells for when somebody says I'm done, there's an enormous difference. So there is time, but deciding what you need to perfect for yourself is crucially important. I understand we all got a tremendous things to accomplish in the middle of the day. Some things you can check the box and say I'm done, but it's the things that are truly a reflection of you and your ability that you cannot ever be done, that you always need to continue to strive for excellence. Because there is no such thing as perfect, but we are working towards it every minute of every day. So I'd say there's three things that we all need in the pursuit of excellence. Number one is confidence. Some people are born with it, and you might not know why, but they've just got it, and that's awesome. For those that aren't, they have to have some success to build confidence, to know that they can achieve their goals. But once they've got it, the second piece I would say is humility, because the humility to be able to collaborate with others, knowing that the collaboration only improves your own ability. And at the end of the day, it's the collaboration that allows you to reach perfection because it's multiple ideas. The last piece that I think is super important is looking it forward to what's next. Most people look at what's best yesterday or what was best last year or what succeeded last time, and that drives their decision and their creativity. What really is the pursuit of excellence is breaking that completely and figuring out what are you going to create that everyone's going to love tomorrow that they haven't thought of today. And if you're able to do that, now you're actually doing something important and you're pursuing excellence and you're achieving your goals.